everyone i welcome you once again to our master class thank you for joining the master class and i want to assure you all that the reason why you pay for this class will not be in vain i will look at how to develop the sba app or system in microsoft access so first of all create a folder i've done that and name it the way you want to name it so open the folder and then right click inside the folder and go to new and go to microsoft access database click on it and name use the bus the backspace to delete the name and input your name it could be the name of your school or the name of your business brand so i'm using the name of my organization that's context so I'll, after you have done that double click to open the access uh, file we'll look at how to remove all those things the access splash screen we'll look at how to remove the all when you finish with the system so click on enable content now first of all i want to get rid of these names over here so go to file go to options then go to current database then type the name of the system so i'll write constec app so type the name of your application so let's make it a constec sba app so sba app we'll look at how to create an icon for it and this icon should be in bitmark we'll look at that okay then after that you click on okay now we are going to create our tables so go to create so click on create and go to table our first table so we want it to be in data sheet view this data sheet view we want it to be in design view so click on design view so before it go to design view be prompted to give the name of it so tbl registry that's the name of our table registry okay then you click on okay now clean the whole of the id and write the people's id people's id now the people's id we want it to be let's make it let's make an auto number for now then you have people's name the people's name short test then the people's gender the people's gender also a short test people's uh, attendance okay people's attendance we'll short it and the people attendance we want to make it a short test we are going to use it to calculate so that's why we're going to use a short test okay now we also have people's now we will have people's people's attitude attitude okay people's conduct people's attitude conduct and then their interest then you also have people's pitch the picture yeah 
and we want that to be an attachment. Now the people's ID, people's ID. Okay, so after doing this, let's save the work and we will have to create another table. Now let's close this work. Let's create another table. And this table will call it the school details. So control S T B L school details. Go to home and click here to change the to design view. We'll have the school ID. We also have school name. As a short test, school motto. School address. And then we have school contact. The class name, term, term attendance, we we'll also look at vacation date, opening date. Now the the vacation day should be number, date or time. Date or time. Then the opening day, we have promotion mark. And we want to use a number. Then scroll down. We have the school name, the school, the school head name, then the class head name, which is the class teacher's name. We want to add the school logo, so school logo, that is a, should be an attachment. Scroll down, we'll have the head signature, the head signature as also an attachment, then the class, the class teacher signature as also an attachment. Sorry, attachment rather not happening. Now, we'll, after that, save your work. Close it. Create another table. So go to home. I want to create a table that will hold uh, the user ID. So come to home and click here. Save your work as TBL users. It's so always store the password for us. Now clean here and write here user ID and then user username and then user password. Now come to the input mask and click here. And, 
and set it to password. Okay, the input mask should be password. So if save your work, so that when you enter the password, it will be in what? It will be in that way.